Yeah, I don't usually wear good boots down there. Although it is muddy in the springtime, usually the rest of the year it's not bad at all as far as water in there. There's a few spots, but it's just because of the, the snow melts and stuff. My name is Casey Fisk. I'm a member of the Wisconsin Speleological Society. I'm from Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin. We actually get a chance to go into the caves and explore the caves and we're actually expanding the caves by ex excavating the caves. And what we're doing is removing the material that was here um, when the glaciers came over Wisconsin. They filled all the caves full of material okay? and we're removing that material. What we're doing is restoring the caves to their pristine condition before the glaciers came through. We have about 20 people here, I think, working. We have carpenters, we have electricians. It's quite an eclectic group of people that work here in the caves. They have a common bond of exploring and getting dirty, I guess. The sediment has been here since the last glacier, 10 to 12,000 years ago. And now it's going to see light of day for the first time. My name is Gary Soule. Well, what I'm doing is I'm uh, pushing back a, a ledge. Uh, there's a lot of uh, soft rock on the side, so I'm widening it out and uh, making it more spacious and also trying to keep with the natural contour of the cave. We want to protect the cave as much as possible, yet we also want to make it safe for about 12,000 school children to go through here every year. Like a kid playing in a sandbox, it's a... <laughs> well, this isn't too bad here, but we'll be able to get this whole corner out. I can see that now. Thank you.